What's going on guys? So I know I said I would do the uh, 99 Camaro in a separate video. So this is pretty much going to be it. Check it out. So this is my 1999 Camaro um, RS. Uh, I actually acquired this probably about maybe three months ago. A little less than that. Um, 99 RS package. Um, 3.8 V6 with a 5 speed. Um, plans for this are to do an LS swap, um, either a 5.3, well first will be a 5.3, later down the road will be a 6 liter. Um, it has a SS hood that was added to it, and an SS spoiler that you've seen at the beginning. Um, <clears throat> guy I bought this from was a, he's almost retired, uh, body man, so he added the spoiler and the hood, um. I've wanted one of these for a, uh, a long time. Um, I like this body style, um, but it's it's always got to be it would it would have to have um, the SS spoiler and the hood, or it would have to be an SS. But this is the best of both worlds because um, this is re was relatively cheap um, for a clean car, and um, I don't have SS money, so to get something you know a clone like that. For this for the price I paid for the car is good for me um, car was originally from Florida spent its whole life in Florida which the paints in pretty good shape for it being a Florida car um, the uh, owner of it before the previous owner that I bought it from she adored the car she took really well really good care of it um, underneath immaculate and i mean i probably keep talking about it being clean because i'm actually from cleveland and so a lot of these cars uh get rotted out very very easily um so when we see something that's as clean as this car we get pretty excited t-top car which i like because the irock has t-tops so that's pretty cool that they match in that um aspect um i like that it is a five speed because i am going to go with a t56 um, so I don't have to swap over, you know, a console, uh, cut a hole, clutch pedal, reservoir, all that kind of stuff. The 3.8 in it is knocking. Um, so it's just pretty much a roller, um, a clean roller at that. That doesn't really need much of anything besides an engine and a trans. Um, interior is pretty clean. Uh, dash pad isn't cracked, which is great. Um, I think there's a little split up top there, just right there, but I'll take that over that whole thing being cracked up. Uh, white interior, which is pretty cool. We, uh, we like to call it the classy white leather interior. Nice and classy. But, uh, anyway, uh, let's hop in here. What do I do with the keys? tighten the garage so let's make sure we don't hit anything let's see car's got a uh, hundred fifty nine thousand miles um like i said interior is relatively clean uh nothing's really ripped except that one spot in the dash the top of the rear seats are a little messed up but we can maybe give them some love and they'll turn out a little bit better um the whole car needs it needs new speakers which isn't a big deal uh who hasn't wired up speakers in their day um dude gave me a uh, new window motor with it which is pretty cool because this passenger side is you know your typical gm window motor very very slow i'm um, going down's okay driver side's good though and it's auto i think it's auto down yeah which is cool uh, let's start this thing up so you, you can hear how bad this thing really is knocking. Ooh. Knocking on heaven's door, baby. I am just kind of, uh, keeping this engine in here just to be able to move it in and out of the garage. Let's shut her off. 
She's had enough abuse. The guy said that he was racing a BMW, I think, when it blew up. Um, I don't know how much power these 3.8s have. My buddy actually had a 97 Firebird with one of these in there. Um, and it was okay, but they're not, they're not too quick. Uh, good for a cruiser, I guess. You can see the underneath engine bay is really clean. Usually, I think they rot out, like, somewhere in there. Uh, but the whole rest of the car is about as clean as this. Love the SS hood. That's what I was saying. I would have to have an, either an SS, but I don't have SS money because we... They are, they are very high in price, especially when they're clean. Um, I actually had a uh, 94 Z28 that I uh, got from my uncle when I was uh, eh, maybe like 20 or something like that, 21. But And he's actually the reason why I'm into Camaros as much as I am. Um, his was a 94 Z28 black, but it was, it was so rotted. Um, he drives his stuff, you know, he drove it through the winters and everything like that. Put snow tires on it, which is awesome. I think these cars should be driven. Um, not, I don't, not per se through the winter. If you use it as a daily when it first came out, cool. But, you know, these cars need to be driven. I get that there's some cars that are, you know, for historical reasons, uh, to store them and everything like that. But they should be driven. Um, this car will be driven. Not in the winter, obviously, because it's just, it's already too clean to do it, do that to it, so... Um, but yeah, that, I've wanted one of these since he's got that black Camaro back in the day. He bought that brand new, I'm pretty sure. Um, and I've just loved this body style. The 94 obviously has the different style headlights, like this different, uh, different style front grille and everything and front bumper. And I like this style a lot better. I guess you'd call this more of the catfish look, which this is way better in my opinion. Um, and I'm a big LS guy. Obviously I don't have an LS yet. Um, or having have a car with an LS in it, but um, the LT one's cool. It's a very good engine, but I just don't want to deal with OptiSpark. Yeah, they have kits out there and stuff for now, but why do all that when you can just put a Holly system on a LS? They put the. Uh, it looks like they put light covers over these marker lights. That's pretty cool. I wonder if they did. It. I don't know if they have them on the front. No, the fronts are just orange. But uh, yeah, so I acquired this 5.3 for this. Uh, from a guy in uh not too far from me about 40 minutes uh it is a uh 5.3 out of a 2000 sierra um 100,000 miles i cleaned it up and stuff and i have a video of me getting the exhaust manifold bolts out and stuff um if you want to check that out you can uh i haven't posted it yet i'll probably post it after i get this out there but uh things pretty clean i mean I had him pull the valve cover for me and stuff, and I mean, it is, it's good enough for what I'm going to base this off of for right now. Uh, we'll do probably valve seals, valve springs, a cam, and uh, LS1 intake and headers and stuff like that. We'll see how much power we can squeeze out of this. Um, obviously, he actually had a, he did like LS swaps and stuff, and he used to have some F-bodies. So I actually got a F-body pan from him for like 40 bucks which is a steal I'm, I'm trying to see how cheap i can do an ls swap for not like super super cheap but relatively budget friendly um so i, I mean i paid this was i didn't want to go to pull apart and go through the i have pulled the engine out of pull apart twice one with my buddy he got really lucky the truck had low miles on it and the truck was just wrecked so he got lucky with that um but uh most of those engines up there look were all i pulled like three separate valve covers and all of them were like just caked up with you know they it's either a truck that gets beat on or a service van that you know who changes oil in service vans often i drive one for a living and i tell you when that light comes on i mostly ignore it <laughs> and i get there when i get there so this was like a, i mean for i paid 400 dollars for this thing and for it being as clean as it is I'll take it because I mean at pull apart you're probably spending you know I would say maybe you know if you just got with the intake and accessories and everything you're definitely playing paying close to that and you got to do your own work so this was already pulled I went there pulled up guy dropped it in my truck headed out so yeah we're just gonna do a uh 
cam, lifters, valve seals, and an LS intake, and obviously new gaskets and everything like that. Maybe I'll, I'll probably pop a new rear main seal in it. But yeah, so this is uh, that's pretty much the plan for this. We'll, we'll try to acquire a T56. We'll see how much they cost and stuff. Um, hopefully I can save up the money to get one. And I would like to have it running by the uh, end of this summer, maybe into fall. I do have an LS1K member, so I'm going to think I'm going to try to build all the suspension off of that. And then uh, drop the K member, put the K member with the LS up into the car. Just seems like it might be easier. We'll see what happens, though. So, yeah. Um, I don't think anything else. It's got all LS1 brakes on it. I think 98 to 02, they, uh, they just kept that. They, these always had uh, LS1 brakes on it. At least it's the same brake setup that I put on the IROC. Um, so that's cool. So I don't think I have to do too much. Maybe down the road we'll do Brembo's. But I would like to get Brembo's for the IROC too. So we'll see who wins that battle. Um, maybe we'll do both. Uh, I don't know if it's a posi. Um, I couldn't tr spin the tires on it because... I actually tried to and the motor like kind of locked up from it knocking so bad so I actually got it running again but I didn't want to try it again I just want to be able to have something to run to be able to pull out of the garage pull it back in in case I got to work on something in there um, trying to think of what else the only other thing I could show you is the rear hatch area that stuff's it's pretty good Let's see if this thing will open for us nope Let's I swear that SS spoiler on there is too heavy for it. It needs like heavier shocks or something. Let's lift this guy up. Oh, man. Yeah, it's relatively clean back here. Um, got your slots for the uh, T-tops in there. Speakers, those are blown out. Oh, this is all. Let's talk about that rear seat. It's kind of like all... The sun was beating down on it. Maybe we can put some type of juice on there and make it look a little bit better we'll see what happens gotta close it harder than that rudy there we go so yeah that's gonna do it for this video um i don't really know what else to point out on the car uh it's just pretty much a stock rs but it's you know very clean car very good uh base project car so uh yeah hopefully you guys like the video um if you and hopefully you guys like the car too um leave a like leave a comment if you had any questions you know or uh any suggestions for me i'm open to anything uh leave a dislike if you didn't like it and uh if you could that'd be awesome if you could subscribe um we're just starting this off so we'll see where this takes us um and uh but yeah for now uh take it easy